Assalamu alaikum. Let's discuss a case today. A female patient in her mid 20s reported with complaint of pain on food lodgement in her lower left region of the jaw since 2 weeks. So on clinical examination it was found to be cavitated tooth number 35. Here we can see the distal wall is decayed. So this is class 2 cavity. Now the next step is that we have to take radiograph of the patient. So this is the radiograph of the patient and on radiographic examination it was found that there was sufficient remaining dentine thickness available. So this entire thing this radial lucency here this denotes the pulp and above it we have this entire thing this is the dentine and the most radio opaque is the enamel. So we found on examination that there is sufficient remaining dentine thickness available okay so about this much sound dentine is available so here we will do direct restorative procedure in this case also in this radiograph you can see that this is a crown which is placed on the adjacent teeth and this crown has a overhang means the proximal side of this crown has not been properly contoured and probably this was the reason why food was accumulating here and led to the decay of teeth at the first place okay so here the patient was advised to replace the crown but due to financial restriction the patient said that he will replace the crown later therefore we started the treatment without changing the existing crown it's less than the ideal scenario but we will work for now the next step is rubber dam isolation so rubber dam isolation was done so we all know that rubber sheet is available in three option heavy medium and thin so we are using heavy here because it has stronger recoil now color chosen here is black and black is chosen because it provides better contrast and aesthetic documentation of the case because we have to take pictures and all therefore the black background will provide a very good contrast in the images as you can see here obviously the credit goes to the one who actually took the picture an amazing doctor he is proceeding further after isolation was done we carefully excavated the lesion keeping in mind that we have to preserve healthy tooth substrate that is healthy enamel and dentine has to be preserved but we have to remove all the decayed and unsupported tooth structure here we can see a simple matrix band was placed and was adapted to the tooth surface with the help of a wooden wedge okay the next step after this is enamel etching so selective enamel etching was carried out on the periphery for around 30 seconds and on the dentine for 10 seconds and then thoroughly rinsed after rinsing the tooth surface is dried using indirect air blast then we will apply the bonding agent and scrub on the tooth surface and this was evaporated using gentle blow of air now here we are using composite as our restorative material so i wish i had a video to show you all but since we do not have a video right now what we going to do we are just going back to the radiograph we are having the pre operative radiograph and i will try to show you the procedures theoretically so here this was the pre operative radiograph of the patient so what we did we excavated the lesion keeping sure that we remove all the unsupported tooth structure as well as the lesion and we have to maintain the healthy enamel and dentine okay so we got something like this now what we going to do we will place a drop of flowable composite and it is evenly distributed and cured then we will take a packable composite and we will build the proximal wall increment by increment okay so we will get something like this now once the proximal wall is done we have to start filling the occlusal part in an incremental fashion so we will get something like this basically our post operative radiograph should look something like this now let us go back to the original post operative radiograph and see what it actually looked like So here is the post operative radiograph. Now let us see this clinically. So this is the clinical picture after the restoration was done. This is one more 
Now we have to check for any high points by asking the patient to bite and the excess flash that is the excess material it has to be cleaned using a yellow ring grit diamond point which is basically a tapered shaped burr or soflex disc can also be used. Now some instruction given to the patient was that she should be cautious while biting extra hard food and also the patient was advised to floss in that area because we saw that this crown it had a overhang. So again it could lead to lodgement of food right. So this was all for today. I hope you found the video helpful and as I always say don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.